Once you've found the class of your dreams, it's important to pick a section that's going to work well for you. A couple of things to keep in mind with that. First off, instruction mode. Do you want to take it online, in person, or something in between? Also, check the status. Is the one you're looking for still open? If you take a look here, we've still got oodles of open options. The ones that are full, looks like you could still get on the wait list, which isn't a bad choice. Uh, looks like this one uh, still has about nine seats available for the wait list. Also, you could see who the instructor is, uh, dates, and some other details here. Speaking of those other details, before you ever enroll in a class, always click on the section. Let's make sure that everything about this section is, is going to work for you. Uh, we've already talked a little bit about the instruction mode. Down here it's going to give you more information. Don't panic when you see the TBA for the online. There's no particular time that they're going to ask you to, to join in. Something else though that you want to watch out for over here on the left is under the information, look at the course description. Is this truly the class of your dreams? Also prerequisites. Is there something you need to take before you can take the class of your dreams? And also down here, sometimes you're going to see some additional information about that class that you're going to, really going to want to know before you enroll in it. This one looks good to me, but it also looks like I've got some other sections that are still open. So let's try out this one here. I can click on it, verify everything still checks out. And if it looks good, I can hit enroll. When I hit enroll, if there's a lab component, that's going to pop up in this next box here. This particular one just has a lab component that's tied in with it, so it's just giving you an FYI. Still looks like it's all online, so I'm going to hit OK. And then once I get here, I don't need to put in a, any kind of special permission to get into this class, so I can just hit Save. Now I'm going to get an error message because I've already enrolled in this class. And you might get an error message too, maybe not because you already enrolled in it, but maybe you haven't met the prerequisite yet, or you have a hold on your account. You're going to see that uh, information down here in this, this message. Uh, but for you, if you got the green box and it said you're enrolled, then you're good to go. You can hit OK and continue on your search to find some other great classes. Hope this helps. Just another little quick FYI. When it comes to the instruction mode, in addition to online, or in this case we could see hybrid, you may also see one that says web enhanced. Most likely that's just going to be a, a regular good old face-to-face -face class. They just have some kind of online component like they use Canvas in the class. Something else that you could run into is if it's a virtual classroom. Uh, it might be taught where you need to come in at a specific time, but you don't actually need to physically come in. You just get on your computer and you Zoom for the class from the comfort of your own home. There's plenty of other things we could chat about, but that hits on most of the important ones. If you've got other questions, talk to your advisor or get in touch with OneStop.